Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We are going to check out this game called Captain Velvet Meteor, the Jump Plus Dimensions. So, full disclosure, this is a sponsored gameplay video. This is a tactical adventure game that is in the vein of like anime and stuff like that. So if you're a big manga and anime fan, if you like tactical adventure games, this might be straight up your alley. So let's go ahead. We're going to start it. We're going to play this. So this is a 10-year-old boy, Damien, moved for the first time in Japan. Calls upon his imagination to face the challenges of his new life. He becomes an intergalactic hero named Captain Velvet Meteor. I like the way that sounds. Oh, look at this. Lion France. A oh, wee wee. Oh, we got ourselves a airplane. Commercial liner, I suppose. So from France to Japan, that's a 13-hour flight. Oh, these are, this is like his little notebook. So goodbye to his friends, school, favorite places. They're leaving everything behind. Super Damon. You can see he has like a Super Saiyan thing in the... All right. Velvet Meteor. Started with a simple mission to the far regions of the galaxy. With my trusty JP at the helm, my Velvet Wonder was soaring through space. All right. So... I guess, yeah, we're playing through his imagination. Cute kid. Who ha who never drew comic books growing up? I always drew some. I wish I could find them. Dark energy pulling us. Gigantic spaceship in orbit around an unknown planet. I wonder if they had an actual kid actually draw these drawings. Because that would be... Uh, that'd be cute. Could you imagine being a kid and having your, your drawings put into a, uh, a Nintendo Switch game? So uh, here we go. All right. I like the artwork. Let's see what happens here. So this is a tactical game. Uh, I'm not too good at tactical games, but I think this one I could pick up. So Captain, do you hear me? This is JP. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. What happened? So we're crashed. Left stick to move. Number of tiles. Okay, so basic. There we go. You can undo your move by pushing B. Hold A to launch your action. Let's hold A. So it's kind of like Mario Rabbids. Must be near your position. Camera mode. Use a stick. Use the left to move around. Where's the left stick? Where's my robotic friend? Oh, he's over here. I see the little thing. Okay, there he is. Alright, so we gotta make our way to him. Alright. Detect minor obstacles in front of us. They can easily be disposed of using your meteor gun. Change the selected character with R. Use the left stick to move in front of the wall. R. There we go. There's valid target. Characters prepare an attack. Hold A. There we go. Alright. I'm digging that. So. Both characters were rotating between moving. Oh, I didn't move the other guy. So it has a little bit of a puzzle element, I guess, to it as well. Seeing these types of ruins, not ruins, Captain, they seem to still be working. Since you're picking up signals, open the gate by moving JP on the switch. Wait, nope, nope. I want to move JP. Right stick, we're going to attack. I'm going to hold A. Okay, there we go. Well, yeah, a little bit of a puzzle element. Not a bad thing either. So I'm still obviously in the tutorial a little bit. We can assist each other. The key is in combos. Place characters on the blue mark. Ready to combo initiates a special ability. Hold A to launch combo. I'll combo for ya. We're not far from the spaceship. Let's continue. All right.
I can get behind this. I don't know about you guys. Oh, looks like we have ourselves. There we go. Got him. Let's say, looks like we have ourselves a. Uh, Good old fashioned adventure game. Can we destroy those? I don't think we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. I think we made it. Detecting hostile creatures in front of us. Origin unknown. Reach the area end. So. Obviously. Okay, I zoomed right through them. Interesting. Gain health points every time you kill enemies. Alright. Characters share the same health bar. There we go. Oh. Goodness. I got him. What's this? Alright. Drop extra movement points. Reach the area end, so we just got past it. Nice. All right. So my first impressions of this game are, um, I'm digging it. I am digging it. So yeah. Full disclosure again. Like I said, this is a sponsored video. If you're interested in this game, there is a um, a link in the description down below. I'm actually, I'm actually checking the hell out of this one. I, I'm digging what we're seeing so far, boys and girls. Look at that. Oh, I probably should have moved my other dude. There we go. Got him. Defeated all enemies, baby. So I'm talking about right here. Can't mess with this. Look over there, JP. There it is, my beautiful Velvet Wonder. Looks like the enemy knew we were coming here. Now's the time to use everything we have. Save my ship. Let's save the ship, baby. Defeat all the enemies. Oop, I should have moved JP. Okay, that's not a bad start. If you do not want to do a combo, use your... Okay, we could still do a combo attack. But, you know what? Let's back away. And I think... I think that'll kill the enemies right there. We'll get these guys. A little bit of a strategy element to this. Not a bad thing. Get rid of that jerk.
This jerk is right here still. I don't know what that did. I think I messed up. Yeah, I think I... I think I screwed the pooch on that one. We got rid of that guy. Now we just have one more. Simple as a pimple. Good thing everybody just takes one hit. <laughs> Alright, we made it to our, uh, our ship. Alright, I'm digging this game. So yeah, just a quick little first impressions. Um, I like what I see here. This definitely seems like it's a pretty solid, easy to figure out tactical game. I love the graphics. I love the concept that it's like an imaginary kid, you know, imagination of an ima of a kid that's very imaginative. Um, but it looks like there's um, an awesome amount of gameplay mechanics, especially because you have like your uh, little JP bot or whatever he is. Um, but yeah, I'm digging it. I like that the story is being told through his like imagination. So if you're interested guys, check out the link down below in the description. Oh, look at this. It's my little bedroom. No video game console in here. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take off. My impressions on this are, uh, this is possible hidden gem territory. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below.